Good morning, good morning, good morning. I already had my delicious cup of tea, okay? And I'm just going to show you how I did it. I took um, turmeric, and then I took ginger, and I squished it here in this um, wax bag of that used to be of crackers, similar to Ritz crackers. And I would just crush it, crush it in there, and then I, I, I put some hot pepper. Doesn't matter what kind of hot pepper. It was habanero in my case, I think. And I put it in my coffee filter. So I guess we'll see how my coffee is going to taste next time. Um, and so it's filled. It's packed with a lot of really good nutrients. And technically, it's not a tea because whatever is a tea is supposed to be tea made of tea leaves. Uh, but you know what I mean. You want to call it an infusion? You could call it an infusion. See the piece of... Um, pepper here so it's nice and spicy and where did I get the idea from I like ginger cook snaps a lot and I found out that ginger snaps were a little hot I thought they were hot because of uh, somehow I, I figured I guess I guess ginger's pretty spicy but no they literally put some pepper spicy pepper in it okay so I figured you know what I like the taste so much that it's tolerable and it's really really healthy uh, to have all this stuff especially me having sciatica these days uh, so I put in more than I even thought, really. Actually, more, more, more ginger than than turmeric. Okay, you see the little red pieces here. This turmeric, and so um, I made an infusion. I soaked it. I had the first. I had a cup of tea. Then I soaked it again and put put more water in. And I bottled the remainder so that way I could take it like a vitamin, a daily vitamin. And let me just show you how that looks. So, as you know, I recycle bottles and all that stuff. How do you think this tea looks? Nice nice and tainted, right? This is from the second second uh, strain, if you want to call it. I ran it through the second time, the first one I already drank. And so, um, I think I'll be taking like a shot of this every day, right? And if I feel like having a full cup at night before going to sleep, um, typically I, I mix this also with chamomile and linden flower, which helps me sleep. Or I just keep the bottles separate, right? But this is already marked spice tea, okay? And it's in my fridge. And so, I have my chamomile tea. You see how dark this is? You know this had to be really heavily infused. You see the color? So all I need is a shot of this before I go to bed. And if it has chamomile, it has uh, linden flower also. Linden flower is very good to calm the nerves. So if I have caffeine... Uh, because I'm not supposed to drink caffeine, I, I get uh, I get high blood pressure, whatever you want. I get hyper hypertension. Uh, so I decided I like coffee, and I've given it up for so many years. So once or twice a week, I'll drink it, but I'll kind of like in that same day or follow it with a shot of chamomile, so that way I don't get hypertension. And I think it worked. Um, because I really get really, really, really so tensed up. I get nasty, I get jittery, and, um, I can't really walk around a lot because I have sciatica, which is going away, I think, thanks to prayer and thanks to the turmeric that got downloaded to me in my mind to do. And so anyway, I'm just sharing this. And so I, I did another film yesterday of me making a concoction of, let's just say, multivitamins, Right. And uh, I forgot to add to add before you. Uh, let me show you how what that is and how I did it. Okay, so I already washed this stuff, but I decided to I, that I forgot to add uh, my calcium in it. And what is my calcium? My daily in, uh, intake of calcium is powdered eggshells. Okay. And so I had a little problem with the last concoction of this, which we'll get to this later, but I'm sure you probably saw the other film. Um, so the eggshells, as good, good as I grind it in a commercial mill machine, which uh, you can see that in another video. I'll see if I could put it down below. Um, it, it, it still had some pieces, you know, not everything was milled per, to perfection and you don't want to be drinking stuff that you don't know what it's gonna if if it's is gonna cut something inside you don't know if it's dangerous right so I decided I came up um, this is still the remainder of except I just sifted it of my 
my uh, egg, my eggshells, and it, it it really becomes like really, really powder, like powdery in the, in the air when I shake it. Um, so I'm still on up to here on this, okay, up to here. Before I I had it up to here. I used it on my plants. I didn't grow that as many potatoes as I wanted. By the way, that's another film, uh, but they were delicious. Um, I did eat a plate of it, uh, but it was a lot of work. Uh, so potatoes didn't work well, but I did grow a green thumb and at least I did that. Okay. So anyway, so I sifted all of the eggshells that were here. I transferred them here to make sure I pour in here, uh, a lot of powdered eggshells without any lumps and, 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 and it caught, you could probably see here, it caught some, uh, e enough of what I was concerned about. Right. So then... I poured some of the good eggshells into my concoction of vitamins. This is my mixed vitamins. Oh, boy, I can't open it now. <laughs> is this funny? Look, it's got sunflower, BACC, eggshells. And there's a lot of stuff what I put, so I just did a film. And I just stored them together so I don't have to keep, have to writing, I don't have to keep writing everything down. So now this concoction has all the stuff, including charcoal, which I did not include in yesterday's film. I, I realized I forgot the charcoal. So that's why it's like dark green now instead. And um, uh, I also threw in the eggs and shook it in real nicely. It's not as yummy tasting. Okay. Um, I could say that I wouldn't buy this again. Uh, this is BACC. I'm not sure. I'm not a fan of it because it came flavored and I'm not trusting a lot of companies, let's just say, anymore. But I'm going to use it down. Uh, and oh boy, I'm going to use it down. So I'm going to put a little more for flavoring of this because it has this strong smell of apple, which I detested. It took me a while before I even opened, started using it. But it helps me drink this down and a lot of times I don't have juice in the house uh often enough what I do is this is a trick when you want flavor I should have thought of that before this I take a spoon I take a spoon of honey so this is honey right this is honey I brought in from Florida and I rejarred it right uh so this Florida uh I forget what kind of honey it is it's not mango oh great things are falling all over the place okay so anyway, I take a spoon of honey, put it in my tongue while I gulp down, you know, I, I, I mix like a spoon of this in water. Okay. So now my spoon is, is wet, but a, a spoon sort of like this big. Okay. All right. And, um, I pour it in a cup like this. Okay. Yeah. I, I buy mushrooms, but I'm getting into natural my own drying them my own so or you could shake it in a cup like this you don't have to be buying shakers or anything you have all this stuff you end up throwing it out all the time right so why not just use the stuff that you don't have to throw out right okay so now i put some flavoring in here and bc aa is supposed to be good for muscle growth except i'm i am going to stop buying all of these commercial uh stuff uh I, i'm not trusting them the companies as much and I, i'm going to start sticking to another company and you will know which one it is because i think i'm going to start selling it uh but that's another show for another time so then i'm going to shake this oh see that's why i have to put this here well i'll shake it over the sink because it already dirtied my little it already spilled all over the place all right so this is my little concoction video okay if you don't like the taste of your concoctions just take a spoon of honey Put it in your mouth, and as you gulp the vitamin down, uh, of course, you have to mix this vitamin with water. Why encapsulate it? I mean, all that gelatin capsules, you don't need that. Just make a concoction and gulp it down. And it's not good to gulp down, by the way. Drink it slowly, like, don't, don't, don't swallow like that. Don't be, it's not good for your system, right? And you're not going to really enjoy the nourishments that you intend to. So if you don't like the flavor, what I just did, don't do what I just did. Put in flavoring, right? Which is supposed to be a vitamin that I bought anyway. I'm just trying to use it down. Instead, take a spoon of honey, 
put it in your tongue as a, as you drink it down. I'm not going to say gulp it down. Still give it, give, give it, uh, give, give some space to the gulps. All right. Give your system time. Gulp, gulp, gulp. In the meantime, while well, in between gulping, you're sucking on the honey and you're not really being uh, uh, turned off by the flavor and, and the grain, you know, there's a little granulated or whatever. But this is how I do this. This will last me probably for, a you know, two or three months. And it's 19.8 um, ounces. Okay. And I had already finished this collagen. Um, actually, I didn't put collagen in it. So that's another thing I'm going to put in. Ooh, 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 ooh. And let me do that now. Okay. So I found my collagen. Uh, you could buy bovine, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, so you could make soups, um, in powder form, right? Instead of buying, uh, oh my goodness, broth, right? Beef broth or chicken broth. And personally, I would put it in here in the mix. But because I bought collagen, which as you can see, I've used it because this is empty. Oh boy, I can't, I can never open this, can I? I'm going to throw in the mix some of the collagen. I did have another one and I may or may not have more, but after that, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to buy bovine, you know, to make my own soup broth, which that's what it is. Okay, now I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor or a nurse, but you know what? I never, I never hurt myself. <laughs> in, in fact, I'm doing quite well, um, I believe, for my age, even though I could do better, right? So I'll just fill it up, right? Fill this up to ca capacity. And just add this much collagen in it, maybe two or three of these, because th that is a, a, a lot there, Okay. So I keep remembering what else to pour, right? So that's it for now. I know it's not a pretty picture. None of this is. Let me see if I could open this before I leave you. Okay, so as you can see, I, I started to put the ingredients here. And I, I put this as my day batch because I had another batch which was for evenings, right? So as you can see, the mix of the, uh, of the uh, eggshell powder is not to perfection because I have not shaken it. The, to the degree that I typically do because I'm filming, right? So now it's a good thing because I'm going to shake it some more. So I might as well take advantage and put in the collagen, okay? I'm going to put in two of two heaping of whatever. I'm not sure how much this is. I use this for egg making. You see the little, little, um, it looks like a thumbtack or whatever anyway so I, I i pin a hole on the egg and i steam it and it comes out really really easily out of the shell so as you can see one is one is still being occupied by its original items and the other one <clears throat> is being occupied the other container is being occupied by a mix of healthy stuff in fact my goodness i keep thinking of more things uh, wheatgrass powder is really good. I left that out too. So this is almost filled to, to, to capacity. Um, hold on. I'll be right back. I keep adding to the mix, adding to the mix, which is why I'm able to go to the bathroom and stuff. It helps. Okay. So this is the typical container that I've been using. And you see, I numbered, it, I numbered it too, but I don't remember why, you know, probably, <laughs> I don't remember why. But I'm going to make this the greens for this mix. I'm just going to mix it in, or maybe I'll pour some of this in here and go back to my original vitamin container. But this used to be just my greens container. I used to put fiber in it at night. And it really actually brought me back to normal as far as... Um, uh, you know, uh, being able to not be, uh, constipated, if, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And so this is a mix of a lot of greens, wheatgrass. Uh, uh, I, f I forget because it's a while since I've done this. Uh, I, I definitely put turmeric cause you see the, the yellowish things in here. Uh, so I'm going to use this up as well. 
And you know what? People can say, oh, that looks yucky. But you know what? It works. I get the results. I get the results. And it may look horrible, my little pantry here, my little vitamin pantry, but it's not a mess. Not to mention that I take my daily vitamins because I have high cholesterol and um, red yeast rice is extremely good. It torpedoed my cholesterol down. And I'm spacing my testing, my blood test. Because uh, I, I don't want to go like every two months. Well, what for? I'll, I'll, I'll do it once, once every six months maybe. Uh, because I always get great results. But the first time it torpedoed down, sort of like a fat person, they lose a lot more weight at the beginning because there's a lot of extra weight there. So it, it could be that it torpedoed down the first time, but only because it was a unique experience. And uh, I, I'm, I, it continues to go down, uh, but not torpedoing down. So now on my next test, since I've been doing intermittent fasting and taking black seed oil and doing my concoctions and being faithful to them, um, all of that is going to add to it because they say that cholesterol adds to a fatty liver, which is what I have. So as a result of having high cholesterol, which now is not as high, I brought it back down to when I first started getting cholesterol is actually even lower than that. Um, don't ask me for the measurements, but I'll tell you, um, I was very impressed. I never thought I would even go down to when I first had high cholesterol. That's how bad it was. Um, so now I'm even lower than when I first discovered I had cholesterol. I'm on my way to healing. I think I may be even more on my way since my last test, which was about six months ago, because I've been doing, uh, intermittent fasting faithfully at least five to six times a week. And sometimes a full seven times a week. Uh, and what I do for my intermittent, intermittent fasting is uh, I just start eating at 12, right? But I also stop eating at 6. So I put a little window there, um, 12 to 6 hours or 24 hours in, in a day, right? So if you calculate, I'm, I'm pretty much eating three quarters of the day, I think, and, and, and one quarter not. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, a, a math genius when, when I'm lazy, I could be a little better, however. So this is how, um, I live my life. If I had a garden, my herbs would not be this. My herbs would be freshly ground dehydrated herbs, or maybe I would just eat them when I cook them. But, uh, it's always good to have, uh, this when you're in the city, you don't have your own garden. Uh, you really, really, really do see results. Believe me, especially taking this at night with fiber. Trust me, you're going to see stuff come out that is unrecognizable <laughs> because you're, you're doing a, a, a detox. You're doing a colon cleanse. And and um, this this mix here has milk tizzle and casca, cascara sagrada. This doesn't even have it. And it works very, very well. I, I don't remember what the mix is. I have made videos, so please feel free to look for it. If I could find it, I'm going to piggyback it onto this video if anybody is interested on what I do for my health um, based on my living conditions. I'm, I'm not living, I'm, I'm not an um, off-grid person. I don't have a garden, although I'm trying to, right? <laughs> From my deck only, right? Uh, but you do what you can. You do what you can and you could still get results. Um, quite frankly, I mean, I, I compare myself sometimes and, and I shouldn't do this. I mean, not in a bad way to people who, who are off grid, grid, they do off grid. They're my age and they're really, really, really nutty and fussy about their intakes and everything. And, uh, comparatively speaking, um, uh, you know, I'm not trying to bag or anything, but I look younger than, than a lot of people that have a, a big edge over me. Um, or let's just say. Uh, the same. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not into that. Who looks younger, who looks better, but, um, I'm just saying I'm not doing too bad considering that I'm in the city and limited to powders. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye now.